Otto Island the next for the Greyball Hurdle. Two and a quarter miles, two miles and two furlongs. Listed race for five year ones up. Commit Sand at the top, Jim Harrison, Max, Alex Chiri, Rule Supreme, David Hooley, Seven Towers, Martin Lidham, Judge Anderson, Joshua Sutherland, and Nuit Catalane for Derek Hinton. Real to real. Graham Clutterbuck and Russian River, Leon Van Rinsberg. A field of eight. Away they go. Get the way down to the first of nine flights they're going to take in this one. And it's just seven towers who landed in the lead from Judge Anderson and Rule Supreme and Nuit Catalina on the inside, but there's no more than four and separating a lot of them. And nothing seems all that keen to be the leader at this stage. Although Seven Towers is taking on that mantle with uh, some, something of a really reluctance. I thought the jockey's got a keen hold of him, but now he seems to have settled down into the lead. Two lengths clear of the purple jacketed Rule Supreme in second. They get over the second with Commit Sand and Max sharing third, then four in a line, sharing fifth. But it's Seven Towers just been held up again in the lead, so to. Rule Supreme in second, and the field again begin to bunch as they head towards the third of the nine flights. And Seven Towers leads by two lengths to Rule Supreme, Commit Sand, and then Max just tucked in behind them. Real to real wide on the truck as they take the third, which they all get over okay. Nuit Catalane just struggling to go the pace at the back. But it's Seven Towers that's the leader. Past the winning post. Again, I'll say this every time in a very bizarre place. This winning post is struck miles away from the stands as they get over the fourth. And Seven Towers is the leader. From real to real second, Judge Anderson third, then Rule Supreme is four. And then Commit San and Max and the gap then to the back two. Nuit Catalan and Russian River has just dropped off the pace. In the last few furlongs, the pace being set by Seven Towers doesn't appear to be particularly stiff as they get over the fifth, and Seven Towers jumped that one nicely and got away from it well as well. And he's now four clear of real to real. Any attempt at not being the leader would be pretty pointless now, I think, as we get down towards the final mile. So the jockey on this one may as well accept that he's got to ride it from the front and ride some sort of race, but it's four or five lengths clear. Of real to real in second, rule two bring his third. Then a gap to Russian Mirror is now crept into it. Then comes Max Judge Anderson has lost his place. Commit Sand is next, and Nuit Catalan is just five lengths off the pace again. So I've just got three to take now, and Seven Towers is two lengths clear of Rule Supreme in second and real to real in third. Judge Anderson is fourth. And Max being driven up on the inside as they get over the third last and Seven Towers attacked that one and jumped it well, got away from it while he's still two lengths clear of Rule Supreme in second. And Judge Anderson is now the one who's making a forward move around the outside. And as Russian River again drops off the back as they come down towards the final two flights in the final four furlongs and Seven Towers is two lengths clear of Rule Supreme in second. Judge Anderson is third. Real to Real is four. Commit Sand is five. Then comes Max as they get over the second last and Seven Towers landed in front but Commit Sand is coming to challenge on the outside. Rule Supreme is starting to try and pick up Judge Anderson likewise. Real to Real is dropping away. Now Russian River tries to get back into again as they swing for home. They've got two furlongs to go and Seven Towers is now being challenged by Commit Sand. It's Seven Towers and Commit Sand as they race towards the final flight in the Grable Hurdle. Seven Towers nearest to us. Commit Sand over on the far side. Rule Supreme back in third. They come down to this final flight. So we're going to come down to the jump. Commit Sand is starting to assert. Over the final flight they go. Commit Sand landed in the lead. He's trying to fight back on Seven Towers, but Commit Sand has got first run. He's got to take it. Commit Sand wins at Seven Towers second. Rule Supreme third. Then Judge Anderson and Max was another wheel to wheel and we cut a lane. In his own time at the end, and a strange race again there. Nothing seemed to want to leave, but nothing came out of it at all. Really, the big guns didn't fire at all. It was a Leon horse, a Joshua horse, a David Hooley horse, and none of them pulled out anything. It's another winner for Jim Harrison with Commit Sand. Seven Towers for Martin Lennon was second. Royal Supreme for David Hooley third. Judge Anderson, Joshua Sutherland fourth. And Max for Alex Cherry was fifth.